Sometimes you might want to change the color of an area you've been working on, but you don't want to paint all the details in again. So all you need to do is go up here, change the blending mode to color, and then change to the color that you want to use, in my case, a nice pink, and then just click and watch the magic happen. Yeah. If you want to make sure the color doesn't bleed onto other areas of the model, like I have here, then go to the paint mask button here, then press tab to go into edit mode, go to face mode here, select the faces that you want to be painted on, then press tab to go back. And as you can see, now I'll only be able to paint on this area. Sometimes it can be helpful to see the real colors of the rest of the model while working in this mode. So you can just toggle off show overlays here. And as you can see, the mask is still in effect, but I can see the comparison of the colors next to it. If you're going for this PlayStation 1, N64, low poly, whatever look, don't worry too much about the pixel density and the pixels being perfectly straight. Because even back in the day, they weren't straight and they weren't pixel perfect. Let me show you an example from Resident Evil 2. So if you look at the pixels on Leon's face versus his body, you'll notice that the pixels are much smaller on his face. And on his arm here, the pixels are actually stretched out. <laughs> which is kind of funny. And on his hands, they're stretched out even further. This is like one pixel per line here, which is really interesting. And if we look on the side of Leon's face, we'll see the seam here where the UV has been split. So don't worry too much about pixel perfection. Are you having trouble getting the camera into those hard to reach places? Well, did you know that you could fly the camera around like in the Unity editor? I didn't until one of my live stream viewers helpfully told me about it. To activate it, press shift plus the tilde key. That's the key next to the one. And you can use WASD to kind of fly around there. You can press Q and E to go up and down. And you can also use the mouse wheel to change the speed of acceleration. If you wanna paint a texture straight onto your model, you can go to the texture properties tab down here, select new, and then go to open, navigate to where your texture is double click the texture you want to use and then come down here to the texture tab of the brush settings and select mapping change it to stencil press image aspect now as you hover over the scene view you'll see now this stencil has appeared you can move it by right click dragging you can scale it by holding shift and right click dragging and you can rotate it by holding control and right click dragging so find a nice place for it. Make sure that your color is pure white and set it to mix and then just paint it on. Before I end the video, I just want to say a big thank you to Madeline, Two Foot Sheep and Chris B who bought me coffees on buymeacoffee.com. Uh, if you want to support me, that's the best way you can. I would love to do this full time in the future. So if you want to help me reach that goal, I would be much appreciative. Okay, take care. Bye bye.